<laughs> Ready, okay. Um, okay, so we just looked at uh, bougainvilleas. I mixed some sort of uh, pink and peach with yellow and white. And now I'm going to come up here. And it's a vague memory of what we just did. So see how I came into some of the darker colors right here? I let the bottom part of my brush reach into those darker colors. So it's on the bottom. And then when I put it down, it, it casts the, the value I wanted, the darker value, come into a little lighter value and just touch it. Remember, I'm not really being perfect about the, the flowers. I'm just getting the idea up there. So I might go ahead of myself, reach in, come back. Remembering how those bougainvilleas sort of look, but not being very perfect. I want to take them a little further, change these into more bougainvillea, and then I'll put the greens in in a second too. Nice part about this type of painting is most people when they watch it they can go, oh I can do better than that because that's the idea. You, you just you don't want it to be your best. You want it to be an impression. Down here below, I will actually make these look more realism, but the rest of it in here is just an impression. So I'm going to go into more yellow right into the white. Put a little liquid on it. It helps it dry a little faster, and then. Uh, just gonna that basically is all I was looking for and now I'm gonna mix some greens so I can keep that that red pink on my brush I'm looking for some old greens here it's pretty light add a little blue to it it's still not quite what I'm looking for add a little yellow Okay, so when we were looking at that bougainvillea, we noticed that real dark greens were the older leaves, and the newer ones had sort of, what was that, uh, um, sort of an orangish in the newer one. So we're just going to put some leaves. It's too light, so I'm going to take and hesitate for a second, grab some sap green, 